Hello, my name is Melissa Doval, and I am the CEO of Kairos. The best part of this for me is the fact that I get to help come up and be a part of this emerging technology uh, and create something very, very cool that is gonna change and define how we transact, how we do business, how we move about the world. Data is very, very difficult to come by, specifically when you're trying to acquire the data ethically. Currently, there is plenty of pictures out there in social media. However, most people have not given us permission to use it to train our algorithms. What we're trying to do is find individuals who would contribute their data to train the facial recognition algorithms. It's a human problem and not a technological one because currently the, the individuals that are training these algorithms are the ones that are responsible for the data and um, the output that the algorithms have. In the advent of facial recognition, the algorithm is just giving an output to a problem or a mathematical equation that it's been given. And that output is then taken by humans and a decision is made by the humans to take action on it. We don't really think about it as a technology that we would use to protect. We, would, we think of it as a, as a technology we would use to persecute. But the reality is that we're finding more and more ways we can use facial recognition to protect human beings. There are non-for-profits that are actually using facial recognition to match chips that are coming into the National Register for Missing Children against the actual database of missing children that they have. going to become a market differentiator for companies to be more ethical. I think what, what's going to end up happening is that you're going to have to walk into a location and they're going to notify you if you're being filmed and if they're using facial recognition and that's going to be a choice that you're going to have to make when you walk into a location whether you consent to it or not. By taking a very responsible and ethical approach, the data is going to be there, no matter what. Whoever is going to be responsible for this data needs to take extreme measures to protect it. As it starts to become widely adopted, these threats and these attacks are gonna become more widespread. And we really need to identify how to protect individuals' privacy and their data, and that's paramount to anything else. What actions we take as a result of all of this data that is collected needs to be monitored, needs to be measured, and there needs to be some limiters placed on what can be done with it. As a woman, for me, it's very important as a CEO of a technology company, there aren't that many of them out there, to hopefully make a mark in the industry and um, to help bring other women along. Being able to work with some of these non-for-profits that are helping identify missing children and rescuing them, for me, would be, it'll be the biggest achievement of my life, other than my son, and, and probably contribute to my life's work, and I'd, I'd be good after that.